Hi Aquarius, thank you guys so much for joining me here for your reading. Okay, so this is a very interesting one for my Aquarians. The song that I was getting for you was the Queen song, Don't Stop Me Now. And this is about you guys saying, you know, don't stop me now because I'm heading towards the fast track to success. And this is a specific continuum that you guys are locked in because you've received the recipe of success in regards to how you need to align your actions accordingly to have that dream life, to have that dream job, to have that dream partner, whatever that may be. And it's because you're transcending the limitations of space and time. And I'll go ahead and explain a little bit in regards to how you're kind of quantum jumping during this time connecting with other versions of self as you navigate your way through the multiverse you're tapping into other fractals of self leading other lives simultaneously that you may feel like are more aligned with what it is that you want to be able to experience right so these are other versions of self existing and different universes within our multiverse so this is like fifth dimensional consciousness or even higher and you're essentially bringing back some type of quantum information even like through remote viewing where you're essentially um sending your mind outside of space and time right the thinking consciousness is extending beyond the anatomical body that inhabits and is limited by this third dimensional experience you're transcending space and time which means that you guys are transcending just seeing you know the past and the present you're almost receiving a glimpse into your future right the future that you want and you know what it is that you have to do in the now how you need to align your actions accordingly in the now to be able to align with these particular set of circumstances essentially and it's like you're coming up with a recipe to success as you connect with these other versions of self it's like they're telling you Aquarius if this is the job that you want um this is the life that you want to live here's the information that you need to be able to align your actions accordingly to have this experience you know um so you're really tapping into the infinite potential of yourself okay and this is literally coming from within your own dna right you guys are focusing on your own personal universe during this time and yeah it's helping you come up with an idea concept an epiphany whatever that may be um that's coming from yourself at another location and it's like you're entangling quantumly with those thoughts and you're bringing it back to, into this experience so yeah um i feel like you're awakening more than just like to one fractal of self that's bound by this space-time continuum and other people are seeing you as a jedi because of this like i feel like other people are seeing you create ripples through space and time that pretty much alters future realities within the third dimension it's like people can see you as someone that is like a seer right it's like you know that you have two eyes to look but there's things that are going on beyond dimensions of what it is that you perceive and if you want to begin to perceive and navigate your way through the non-physical realm and the multi-dimensional aspect of this reality then you need to be able to use your eye right your mind's eye to look so again this is your mind traveling and you know that a good traveler is the one that knows how to travel with the mind um so yeah that's pretty much what's going on for you guys um but yeah um so the don't stop me now i'll go ahead and sing some of the lyrics he says i'm gonna have myself a real good time i feel alive and the world i'll turn it inside out right so it's like you guys are focusing on the world within yourself right the infinite potential that exists within you right um i'm floating around in ecstasy so don't stop me now because i'm having a good time right defying the laws of gravity you guys are um transcending beyond the even like physics of this terrestrial plane and yeah you guys are burning through the sky 200 degrees that's why they call you mr fahrenheit i'm traveling at the speed of light so it's almost like again people see you traveling as this uh, uh, of the speed of light and um you may feel like there's certain agents as you guys are tapping into this new energy and you're you know really just out here doing it basically <laughs> you guys are just out here doing it and there's almost this galactic traffic cop right all these other agents that are kind of stopping you because i'm kind of getting the careless whisper song where he's like you know tonight the music sings so loud i wish that we could lose this crowd maybe it's better this way uh, we'll hear each other with the words we're gonna say right and it's almost like careless whisper people aren't really thinking about the things that they want to say to you um before they say it it's almost like they're restricted by their own limited filter perception right because 
their mind is tied and bound to the fetters of night, which is about them being restricted by their unconscious state of being and you guys have become very conscious and lucid in your state of being when traveling not just the physical dimension but also transcending this you know physical third dimension into higher realms into even like other versions of self leading lives in other other planetary star systems it's like you're very aware of the nature of this reality and how complex it is and yeah i feel like with careless whisper there's almost like people um that again almost are very ignorant right um to this but yeah that's the kind of energy that i get so there could be like careless whispers where people are like it, trying to instill doubt or fear into you or trying to distract you off of your path or you know trying to sway you off of your path in some way and say you know aquarius are you sure about that but for you you're living in that frame vibrationy again it's like you're quantum jumping to other versions of self and it's allowing you to make those quantum leaps through space and time right as you travel down your desired continuum and for you it's as sure as day, day right it's as sure as breath and it's something that comes so naturally to you because aquarius is a very futuristic sign so it's like you can see it in your mind's eye right it's a preview of life's upcomings as far as you're concerned and you know if you can see it in your mind then you can hold it in your hand because you're cultivating the life that you want in the higher realms and you're anchoring that down into a third dimensional experience it's very simple right so i feel like again there's like careless whispers from those around you and again this is like galactic traffic cops that are trying to stop you but they can't stop you for long because with this energy we have main female which is about again the non-physical it's about the feminine aspect of you guys being more receptive right when it comes to the abundance of this universe and the things that you want to nurture and care for and also how the universe is nurturing and caring for you along this journey and you have the three of wands and the page of coins and the lovers so it's almost like you are again with the law of resonance pulling in experiences that are a vibrational match to what it is that you're emitting into the quantum field and the quantum field is bringing that back to you and there's like almost like a specific set of instructions that you guys have received right there's like a specific recipe for success whether that's an epiphany it's an idea it's a concept from other fractals of self that you guys are able to apply and embody in the now and this could be a new career or financial opportunity for a lot of you with a page of coins but you there's a road that has a lot of potential for growth and there's also a path that's no longer a viable option with the lovers right that's not in alignment with your highest expression and this is falling for temptation right where people may be trying to say you know Aquarius are you sure you want to travel outside of the box right outside of the realms of you know this dimension um or you know or just again you you guys know what I'm saying anyway but it's like you you know how you want to live life that's in alignment with your highest expression with the lovers and this is a cho choice point do I want to do what's best for me or do I want to do what other people with limited filters of perception feel like is best for me right um with main female and i feel like you're nurturing and caring and tending to yourself and putting yourself first there now you also have bad health the page of swords the queen of coins and the seven of coins so you know that the day that you plant the seed is not going to be the day that you bear the fruit because again you are <laughs> still having to follow um some of the you know laws of this universe in this dimension which is that the day that you plant the seed is not the day that you bear the fruit it does take a little bit more time for things to cultivate because vibrationally we are in a denser dimension than the higher realms right it's not like things can manifest instantaneously like they can with the other fractals of self um but with the queen of coins you know what your belief systems are and even where people say with the page of swords and they don't really think about the things that they say aquarius you can't do that you shouldn't do that and you won't do that you're saying well i can and i will when i am and watch me you're seeing the i'm possible in what other people see as being impossible and with bad health i just feel like again you're not tied to no vibrational forms of thinking again that will manifest itself in my red ways and it will cause some kind of dis-ease and there's something around not allowing almost like the limitations of others to be something that you catch you know it's something about con it being contagious and even if these people come in like with the 
galactic traffic cops like and try to stop you right the agent smiths or whatever this is petty tyrants that maybe have a lot to say about the way that you navigate your way through life you're not allowing that to stop you from uh, going after the things that you want essentially that's the kind of energy that i get and i feel like you guys are finding these loopholes and people again they just see you as this jedi that's <laughs> pretty much you know creating ripples through the space time continuum and they're very fascinated by you and again i'm just seeing that that scene where they're talking about careless whisper and it's like you know tonight the music sings so loud and this guy's like drifting amongst these traffic lights with this cop and he ends up speeding off like the, again the speed of light and the cop can't even keep up with him so there's something about you being so many steps ahead of people that they can't even comprehend it right and they may be able to you know make you pause for a moment but it doesn't you, you're able to realign your actions accordingly to get back on the path right it's like they'll no longer imprint you in ways that they once did i feel like with bad health again it's like you're transcending that in some way and you're not allowing it to deter you you know it's not going to be instantly gratifying but there's something about you're playing the long game with whatever this is it's like it's assured success now you also have expectation the magician and the six of cubs so i feel like this is things that you guys are expecting of yourself right you're seeing where in the past you had made some type of error where possibly you had you know played it small to try to fit in or try to dim your light in order to fit in and you're realizing that you're not really supposed to fit in you know what your preferences and desires are and your thoughts are creating thought forms because you're reinforcing that thought with emotion and that's helping you co-create with the universe the experiences that you want in life you know it's it's just very very simple for you you're focusing on this next chapter and you're not allowing your past to define who you are or the things that you can accomplish and where it is that you're going i feel like you're expecting more from yourself here and then you also have unexpected income the high priestess the ace of pentacles and the hammer which is really about karmic credit it's also about where the universe is going to reward you in my road ways i'm hearing and a lot of you this is recognition that you're gaining with official person not just within this physical realm but i feel like there's contracts with your name on it right there's contracts that are waiting for you with your name on it and it's not just in this physical realm but also in the higher realms there's something about like the galactic federation and i'm seeing like a cop pulling over a cia agent and they're like oh yeah we done fucked up now kind of energy it's like people again they'll try to sway off of your path and then they see almost like your not just physical ranking but like your spiritual ranking there's something about that like people see source energy animating itself through your physical vessel which is animating your experience and they kind of respect that even if they're unconscious to it there's something about like a level of respect that people have for you and this is about your authenticity right and that being its own currency and whatever people may have to say about that you know deep down they may even like envy you being able to navigate your way through life not caring about what people say how they may feel what it is that they may think about you you're just doing you and there's something around ace of pentacles in the hermit that's unlocking some type of not just esoteric knowledge but like your internal wealth code you know it's something about it's bringing in new financial opportunities new um career opportunities because you're realizing that abundance really is your birthright right you are just the universe experiencing itself through your own subjective journey and all of the subjectives make up the whole right it makes up the obje um, objective experience um so it's almost like you are the universe experiencing itself as a human and you're realizing you know the infinite potential that exists within you and is just dormant in a lot of people that haven't uh, awakened to it just yet okay so there's something about you're realizing everyone's on their own personal journey to awareness and that's the paradox of this reality like where you guys were once asleep i feel like you're able to also extend compassion to these people that have less understanding than you do when it comes to the nature of this reality so i feel like you're not even mad at the petty tyrants at this point you're at a place where you can uh, pretty much utilize that lens of discernment with the high priestess to unveil eternal truths to you around what plane of consciousness people may be operating on okay and you know the feelings that may occupy those realms that they're existing in and there's something around again it's like it doesn't really phase you at this point we have the tables are going to be turning with the wheel of fortune we even have the judgment there so i feel like your soul's calling you towards some kind of um new experience there you know there's something that you you're receiving some kind of karmic credit in regards to and i feel like it's because you're stepping into more of this higher level of awareness now 
we also have July and rushing in with the timing. So I feel like this is something that you guys could have started curating in July or cultivating in July. And that is something that will be coming rushing in. We do have today. So this could be at the base, like something that comes in sooner than later uh, kind of energy. And then we also have financial gain usually coming in from something that you did in the past at the base with dolphins. So it's almost like karmic credit kind of energy um, that you're receiving. We also have the garden of Venus at the base which is knowing that you can be this warrior but you still choose to smell the roses right and you're beginning to enjoy the journey and you realize that happiness really is a way of traveling through life and there is no need for your sword right there's no use for your sword anymore um with a five of swords energy with this kind of gatekeeper right where people may have a lot to say you may feel like you're being watched you may feel like you're being observed you may feel like people are waiting to kind of pull you over at any moment but even when you have these interactions or energy exchanges it's like it doesn't sway you off of your path you know how to get yourself back into alignment and it kind of reminds me of that saying around it doesn't matter about like being in that state of being it's about no matter what's going on around you how can you maintain that state of being and even if you're taken outside of it how can you hold yourself vibrationally right to make sure that you're consistently aligning yourself with your desired outcome and i feel like that's the recipe of success for a lot of you that you have been receiving but anyway we're going to go ahead and close out with a wisdom of the oracle message and again we have the chariot and the wheel of fortune which is almost like your head and heart being in alignment is going to be the things that allow you to almost like merge all the different versions of self to create the ultimate version right there's something around that and again this is like you guys are tapping into the akashic records of all that is where you get to live that dream life you get to have that dream job you get to wake up in that dream house with that dream partner whatever it is for you that you want to be able to experience we have a leg up and we have peace. So this is about some kind of information or advice that you guys are receiving with the leg up that is going to help you. Um, and I feel like it's helping you again, like travel your way through life, being able to maintain some kind of peace and tranquility and harmony, right? There's something about that. I'll go ahead and read a little bit of leg up because I feel like a leg up is like other versions of self, which is actually pretty cool with 34. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm trying to keep it pretty surface level for this read. Okay, so receiving help, delegating authority into interdependence. Okay, so uh, you've come to a point where going it alone is no longer optimal for you, right? And I feel like this is you contacting like other versions of self because he even says that like he's like, um, don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you want to have a good time, just give me a call. And I feel like this is like other versions of self that are having such a good time. And they're like contacting this version of self <laughs> um, of a Chris. And they're like, you know, just give me a call if you want to have a good time. Like this is how you can align with this continuum kind of energy. Um, life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align you with who can give you a leg up during this next phase in your journey. Help, And I feel like this is you helping yourself, right? Um, and that's really tapping into, you know, the true nature nature of this reality um it's knowing that again this is the universe experiencing itself through a subjective point of view but all the subjectives make up a whole anyway so it's like you're seeing yourself and others and you're seeing where other people could be helping you even if that is just like indirectly um people may even be like messengers right for you during this time um even like tarot right this could be like forms of divination that you guys are tapping into because tarot is a gift of foresight right to see um your destiny before it unfolds and i feel like you're realizing again what destined outcome you want to be aligned with with this um and it's going to allow those fated encounters to happen right so there's just something around that right teamwork and inter independence um can allow miracles to happen happen now is such a good time so again some of you are seeking like a mentor uh, that's going to help you get where it is that you want to go right that's a pr prosperity message and this could be like a business advisor whatever this is but i feel like it's a other version of self that is already successful in business for example another version of self that's entered into a um, successful relationship or whatever that is um who has been aligned with whatever it is that you're seeking to experience right this is about receiving very good counsel right through remote viewing <laughs> through sending um again the synapses within the brain that extend beyond this third dimension and they come back right and they bring back some type of information whether this is a concept an idea an epiphany whatever it is that you guys have um i'm seeing vertex so again it could be like fated encounters it could bring in just something fated through other versions of self 
Um, so it may also be the case that your endeavors have grown and you're in a position where you can't do it yourself anymore. Now is the time to bring in people who that can give you a leg up, right? Trust that help is available and it will indeed appear. Okay, so there's just something around that. And again, this is just like a mustard seed of faith that it is existing that within the multiverse and there's higher timelines just waiting for you to be able to access it. It just begins within ex extending the thinking consciousness beyond the anatomical body right and the limits of this third dimension so that's basically what this reading is about okay and this is helping you travel your way through life in more of a peaceful tranquil tranquil state okay i've been told to read a little bit of peace so we'll see what this is with 23 23 freed freedom from attachment and radical acceptance so again it's helping you focus on the law of detachment right where you're holding on to that desire but you're really releasing the way that something may unfold you're giving the universe time and space for everything to be able to unfold in your height in your highest good right because some things still are quantum information um so this is about the, really the universe aligning you during this time this is about a clear vision that you have for how it is that you want to create prosperity in your life and you're being called by a presence to step into your power okay and it's almost like other versions of self are like waking up this version of self you know that's what i kind of get for you and some of you you're tapping into again like other fractals leading lives in other planetary star systems as syrians as um Pleiadians, as Arcturians, whatever that may be it's like i feel like you from the crisis i'm speaking to anyway like you're tapping into just high high dimensions right beyond what it is that you can really perceive um and you're merging all the pivotal aspects of self to create the ultimate version and it's like they're living and existing through you and you're able to interact interdimensionally right and yeah they're really helping you remember your own power during this time so i love that for you i hope that you guys enjoy this reading um yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this reading hopefully it gave you everything that you needed to hear during this time if you're not already subscribed to this channel and want to come for future trees you consider subscribing personal reading details are also down below but until next time aquarius bye